guys, Nick and Brent here with Nightlife Kennel. This is night number two. We're out here hunting. What do we got with us? Well, we're going to ha take Waylon tonight, kind of take him by himself, let him, he's been here for three days. We hunted last night. Didn't really do a whole lot, wasn't a lot of coon stirring, so we're going to give it another shot. Joker hadn't eaten until today. <laughs> now, it's a 10 hour trip from, from Arkansas out, out to here, so. I think it threw him off his feet a little bit, but <laughs> but he did eat today, and we're gonna we're gonna make it a short night tonight, and maybe do some fly fishing tomorrow. Yeah, so we're just gonna make one drop in here and cut him in, walk him in deep, and hopefully we'll get something so we can get that trout fishing thing going in the morning. Oh yeah. But I ain't bring yeah. Nick's or Hyde, so they won't be bothering him. So you ready? Yeah. All right, let's get in the woods. You ready to go, Hawks? Radio on in case I need to call you. He's coming back to me now. He checked, uh, I'm running him down along the edge of this, this clearing right here, right up next to where this river is. In spaces or in, in places down through here, it could be as wide as 30 yards or as narrow as 10 with this, this kind of timber in it and thicket. And, and there's a lot of coons that walk up and down this, this river, obviously. So what I'm trying to get him to do is hunting away from me and this edge to me is, is a prime example of getting him to work, work down, you know, work away, kind of pick a direction and, and take off and then look for something, you know, try to hit a track between where he left me and where the direction, general direction I got him that I want to go. So we're just going to work on that. He went down about a hundred yards. He worked around a little bit and he's come back. So I'm, we're just going to push down a little further keeping him going. He hadn't done anything wrong yet, but he hadn't done anything really right. So he don't get any petting. He don't get any loving or praising. He just got to know that he's got to move down further into the woods, further in away from where we turned him loose. Cause his job, he ain't done his job yet. He's got to find the coon. Waylon's now about 350 yards. He worked straight on down across this, this opening here, kind of cut it off, and now he's, he's got me next to the river and he's working his way back. Coming right on, back along the edge. So if he's gonna, if he's gonna strike a coon, it's, it's gonna be between us and him. Cause this is, it's kind of a small piece, but it's a good training piece. Cause if the coons are gonna, you're gonna get on them quick or you ain't gonna get on them at all. So we're gonna, let him work his way back. He's kind of slowed down out there about 280 yards right now and he's kind of working around in a circle. So we'll see what happens. All right guys, so we got Waylon down here about 300 yards. Um, he's got about a half acre of woods. The coons are either there or they're not. He's checking it right now. Um, problem is we got a big storm rolling in. Not sure if you can even hear it. Um, but we got like 20 minutes or less and we're gonna have a big deluge come in. So. We got Waylon in the thick of it. Hopefully he finds something. He's either gonna get it or it's not there. So we'll keep you guys posted. We actually found a, a better way to get into this piece right here next to this river. There is a big thunderhead coming and it's always safety first. We wanna be able to come back and hunt again another day. We don't wanna get caught in a storm out here. So we're gonna call it a night. Let's go Waylon. All right, guys, well, one quick drop of whaling here. He done pretty good. He did hunt the place out. It, feel. He did, he, he hunted along. You know, it's a good training place too. You know, you said it on the way out here, you thought it'd be good because it's got two diverse areas to hunt. You got the wooded side and then this open field and, and it kind of gives him a direction without him knowing it. You know, he's got that barrier on, on one yeah. side. And, he, and he, when he's going out, I mean, he's running that line, running that line. Yep. 
so uh no fresh cone tracks and you know he's just a pup if it had been 50 down there he may not have struck him he may, he may not have hit him but he's doing what i want him to do he's coming to me when i want him to to, to come to me loading is is not a problem and when i release him and put him on the cast you know he, he takes off and hunts pretty good so he's just figuring it out and uh one thing i was impressed with him is we got a road about 200 yards up here and he broke and sort of head that way it took one little tone from brent and he about face and come right back so you got an awesome handle on the dog for a dog his age to be in that control that's impressive yeah i'm i'm real pleased with him so we're gonna we're just gonna keep working keep putting the time and the effort in there we're gonna do right by him and do what's best for him and and go on and see what happens don't know if y'all can hear it but the thunder rolls we're about to get poured on so we're gonna get in the truck and get out of here trout fishing tomorrow that's all right till next time guys trade one for us